we're going to determine the mass of some quantities of molecules that we have. We have 0.0146 moles of calcium hydroxide and 6.58 times 10 to the negative 3 moles of glucose C6H12O6. Now, the word mole is a counting unit, okay? If it makes you feel comfortable, and this is, if these were donuts, if you bought 0 0.0146 dozen donuts, that would be the quantity of donuts you bought. We need to determine the mass. This number of moles or this quantity of calcium hydroxide is going to weigh how much? We are told that we have the moles, but we don't have a unit. We need something that has grams in it. The periodic table, every number in the bottom of the box, does. most periodic tables do not write the unit on there. But that unit is grams divided by moles. Please write that on your periodic table because it's very useful and, very, and it's hard to kind of hammer home when you're first learning. So don't try to memorize it. Write it out. So if we add up these atoms and give them the units grams divided by moles, we can calculate the grams there. So calcium hydroxide, it has two oxygens, OH2. It has two hydrogens and it has one calcium atom. It has a molecular weight of 74 grams per mole. Now I'm going to start my scaffold with that molecular weight because the smart start puts the unit I want in the numerator. Now I just need to cancel out moles. So this number and unit has to be in the numerator. The scaffold will guide me to do. Moles cancels. So here, if I multiply these two numbers, I will get the mass of calcium hydroxide. Note that the, the scaffold guided me to where I have to multiply. I didn't have to memorize whether I multiply or divide. The scaffold guides me. Let's do the same thing for the moles down here, the moles of glucose C6H12O6. I don't really like how it's 6.85 times 10 to the negative third, so I'm going to put that in standard notation. If your calculator is in standard notation, you could just type this into your calculator because it is a multiplication problem. 6.85 times 10 to the negative third. You could type that in there. Or... Note that the 10 to the negative third, that negative third, that negative is trying to point you in the direction to move the decimal place. That's why I have that kind of arrow drawn there. So I'm going to move this three spots and then fill in some zeros. So this is a much easier number for me to chew on, 0 0.00685 moles of C6H12O6. Again, if I add those atoms up off the periodic table, the atomic masses, I will get the molecular mass in the units grams divided by moles. So there are six oxygens, there are six carbons, and there are 12 hydrogens, 180 grams per mole. So I'm going to start my scaffold with that because that puts my unit grams that I'm looking for in the numerator. Now I need to cancel out moles. I just need to put this in the numerator. I don't need to memorize whether I have to divide or multiply. Top unit cancels out bottom unit. I hope that helps. Thank you.